Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So we have to get into some things regarding the Real Housewives spinoff. Okay, we have even more details. I also want to talk about Caitlyn Jenner versus Kim Kardashian. Not even the Kardashian sisters want Caitlyn to be their governor. And then you guys, the Oscars were last night and hunty. We have to talk about the winners, the fashions, and somebody decided to rock a bob on the red carpet and I was not here for it. So we're going to talk about that and so much more. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get straight into the video. So before we get into the mess, you guys know we have to talk about our sponsor, Celestesnest.net. Y'all, they have a wide array of soaps on the website. These soaps smell great, okay? They feel amazing on the skin and they're made with all natural ingredients. And then y'all, you know this right here is my favorite. It is the green tea and lemon body butter, okay? It keeps your skin so silky and smooth. So go ahead and check this out on the website and the links down below. And of course, you can use my code HOA for 20% off all of your orders for a limited time. Now let's get into the mess. All right, you guys. So first things first, let's get into the Oscars. Now, I'ma just be honest. I did not watch the Oscars last night because y'all know that the Oscars is so white, okay? It is what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. However, there were a couple of black winners. It was kind of diverse this year. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya won Best Supporting Actor for his role in Judas and the Black Messiah. So congratulations to him. Her, the R&B singer, won for her song, Best Original Song for Fight For You, which was also included in Judas and the Black Messiah. And then shout out to Soul, Disney+, Plus, Jamie Foxx, Pixar, because Soul won for Best Animated Feature, okay? So I was very proud of all of my brothers and sisters who won at this year's Oscars. Now, what I did watch was the E, you know, Hollywood Red Carpet Oscars special. So I can see, you know, who everybody was rocking down the red carpet. And there were so many cute looks. I thought Zendaya looked fabulous. I really loved what uh, Regina King had going on. I felt like Angela Bassett just killed it. Okay, she killed the game. Um, but there was one look that I was just a bit confused at. What the hell did Holly Berry have on her head? Like, I'm sorry, but that bob, okay, that bob that Holly Berry had on her head was worse than Claudia's bob when it was folded under in Puerto Rico. I was so confused. I was like, who told her to wear that? Like, why is it so chopped up? And so I just didn't get it, okay? I did not understand it. But y'all let me know who you felt like was serving on the red carpet. And then, uh, you know, who were some of your favorite winners from last night's show? Now, let's get into the Housewives spinoff because you know we've been talking about this for weeks now. The ladies have finally made it to Turks and Caicos. I want to go ahead and show you guys a clip of the ladies at dinner on their first night filming this Real Housewives spinoff. You can see Cynthia there, okay, in her beautiful gown. You can see Kenya Moore in the middle. You can see Kyle Richards and Luann and the rest of the ladies. And honestly... Y'all know I've never been Team Twirl, but I'm going to have to represent Team Twirl when it comes to this spinoff because y'all know Cynthia and Kenya are going to be the only black girls on the show. They're going to be the only girls from Atlanta. And so y'all know I'm rooting for the Chocolate Sisters, okay? It is what it is and it's going to be what it's going to be. We do know that the show is called Real Housewives Mashup right? We know that the show is going to appear on the new NBC Universal streaming platform, Peacock, and Jill Zarin, the OG from Real Housewives of New York City, is set to be the eighth cast member who's going to show up in the middle of the series, all right? So let me know if you guys are excited and if you're going to tune in to the Peacock Network to check out the spinoff. Now, last but not least, I did want to talk about Kate. Okay, Miss I am Kate, Miss Caitlyn Jenner. Y'all know how I feel about Caitlyn Jenner. I can't stand this girl, okay? I cannot stand this woman because everything about her just triggers me, okay? It just triggers me. How are you an advocate for the trans community, but you were a Trump supporter? Like, I just didn't understand that, but I digress. So, Caitlyn is in trouble, not only with the people at home, okay, you and I, 
but she's in trouble with her family, Kim Kardashian and the rest of the sisters because of Caitlyn's views on, you know, police reform and criminal justice reform and things like that. Y'all know Caitlyn Jenner is running for governor of California. And so she's on social media trying to let the people know about her policy positions. And so there was a story that came out recently about a seven month old baby who was killed by a man who was allegedly arrested twice this year for domestic violence. And then he was released, right? Caitlin then took to Twitter to comment on the incident and to call out the current governor of California, Gavin Newsom, and said Gavin's district attorneys across California are releasing dangerous criminals to the streets. Enough is enough. And so Miss Caitlyn Jenner, y'all's favorite reality star, is using scare tactics and fear mongering so that you can vote for her. Okay, she wants to scare you into thinking that California is releasing dangerous criminals to the streets, okay, who are terrorizing your neighborhoods so that you can vote her in and maybe she will be a law and order governor, okay, like your boy Trump. Well, you guys, it is being reported that Miss Kim Kardashian, Caitlyn's own family, is not here for the mess, okay? Kim does not like Caitlyn's stance on this. And sources are saying that Kim is a big supporter of Newsom's approach of rehabilitating and offering reentry support to those coming out of prison, as well as investing in crime prevention. And so you guys, this just lets me know that not only do I not want Caitlyn to become California's governor, but Kim Kardashian and the rest of Caitlyn's family don't even support Caitlyn's bid for office. Like, girl... It's not permeating through your thick skull, okay? Is your wig squeezing your brain too tight? What makes you think you are the woman for this job? I mean, I'm just saying. We know that California be going through it, okay? With the wildfires and the earthquakes and the goddamn homelessness. Are you guys really gonna trust Caitlyn to oversee these problems when Caitlyn can't even oversee her own family? I'm just confused at the situation. So let me know how y'all feel. Can you imagine a governor, Caitlyn Jenner? Okay. Now, if she does end up becoming governor, I'm not going to be surprised because they did end up having goddamn Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then as a country, we did vote in Donald Trump. I mean, y'all voted him in, not me. But yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised because y'all have elected some really crazy people. So let me know how y'all feel about that. How do you guys feel about the Housewives spinoff? Would you be here for Jill Zarin, the OG from New York City, coming in and really shaking some shit up? And then um, what was your favorite moment of the Oscars last night? So let me know. I'm going to wrap it up right here. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you. And don't forget to create a great day. Bye, you guys.